Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. And we're back with Dragon Ball Super. Last time on Dragon Ball Super, one word? Epic. What's another? Uh, Hakai. Hakai. I can't do it right now. I did not really want to dead. Hakai. <laughs> yeah. Hakai. I've just been thinking about Hakai. Yeah, I looked it up on YouTube a few times. Yeah? Yeah. Hakai. It's so great. People seem to be, I, mean, I haven't watched the Japanese, I've been... Actively avoiding it, people seem to be really impressed that they kept it. Oh yeah. So yeah. well, I mean, it could have easily just been destroy. Apparently, in Xenoverse, they kept him saying Hakai with that voice actor. Hakai. So that's cool. But yeah, uh, Zamasu from our timeline has been completely obliterated uh, from existence by the de energy of destruction. Um, but what does that mean for the future? Uh, it seems like. Beerus is like well. Beerus said it's when okay. he destroys yeah, just, it, yeah. it, it, it destroys through time and space. Yeah, the laws that govern Trunks's time ship do not apply to deities, is what he thinks. So we'll see. I don't know. I can't um, imagine being just wrong because he sounded so cool when he said it. Yeah, like it's such a cool idea that mm -hmm. that would be true, but he's probably wrong. Like he has to be. Yeah, it's not like he's gonna go back to the future and everything's fine. Pride of the gods is never questioned ever. Uh, anyway, so we had that. We had a. Uh, um, a little thing with little trunks and big trunks, and they were slapping each other. They all, it's all good now. And peel off was always. Someone funny. said in the comments that they actually do fight or something. It cuts away and cuts back, and they're out of breath and or some shit. No. I don't remember that at all. I don't remember. Could be. Yeah. Be careful with those comments. I am. Stay out of those comments. Okay, so we're about ready to get started. Make sure you guys are going down to the description. Find the link to the reaction. Ten minutes of just straight up reaction goodness. Uh, you guys can find that absolutely viewable to everybody down in the description. Okay, now we're gonna get started and come back to the review here, which will happen right. What a lot, what a, a lot of great exposition. Yeah. Like honestly, the way they're talking what about happened time, yeah, a, a, the way they're talking about time traveling, it's a little more. It just it's like they're trying to talk about it in a little more serious matter. Yeah, and they're kind of covering like well wouldn't this happen this happen this happen it's like no not in this way no, yeah not in this dynamic that's like a Dyna dynamic dyna dynamic time yeah. travel theories yeah but uh so it's cool to see trunks explain that the trunks yeah i immediately want to hear what you think about uh that's actually goku's body you know it's like well, okay so how is not decomposed in and that he time said, and he, he said he's zamasu too zamasu well then who is zamasu you really don't know i know what, what, you, what, you what, what shocked me <laughs> what do you think I, I have no idea. <laughs> you said a little bit earlier what you thought it could have been. What'd I say? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not going to just feed it to you. How could there be two in the same timeline? You went back in time and got... I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. And he just says he's not a copy. And then, a, yeah. He's not a copy. He, wished for he Goku's switched bodies and then he killed the body Goku was in. Which would be Zamasu's actual body? It's kind of like what Captain Ginyu does. Well, what, what time? With what timeline did he go to to get Goku's body? Does that explain? Oh yeah. Damn. Yeah, it explains stuff. <laughs> it has a pretty. It's well so thought good. Out. It shows so good. <laughs> it's pretty well thought out. Gosh. Um. They're here. <laughs> I love it. I mean, so he's Zamasu, and then we have another Zamasu there. And that Zamasu has an immortal body. Yeah, well, yeah, and also that Zamasu. I don't fucking know. Yeah. I mean, he seems. I mean, they're kind of partners. I, I, they, I don't think they're equal. They're 50 50. I think Zamasu, Zamasu is maybe a, a, kind of in charge. That's mm -hmm. what it feels like. And then Zamasu Goku is kind of like the muscle. Yeah. I just. I, I get so hyped because. There's a Vegeta moment that happens. I'm not sure if it's... I don't know if it's next or the next couple episodes, but there's a Vegeta moment that happens that I just watch sometimes randomly. I'm just, like, thinking about it. I'm going to think about it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch that. And I watch it in the, you know, in the Japanese sub, and I'm like, yeah, hey, it's pretty great, but it's going like, Wah! you know, something like that. Yeah. I want to hear Chris Abbott say these words yeah. and do these things. Yeah. I want Chris Abbott to do these things, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I, I just, I'm so hyped. I keep thinking, like, is it this episode? No, it wasn't, so. But we still had a great moment with Vegeta where he's like, I'm only here for my son. Yeah. You know? So this world could have a future. Yeah, so great. And that's very, I mean, Vegeta just, he's just changed in such a good way. He has, but he's still, like, he puts on that mask of, like, I don't care. I'm the cool guy, you know, or, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm that's, not, what Aaron, I'm not, that's what Aaron does. Yeah, I'm not supposed to act this way, but that's how he really feels. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I, I love I, I love Future Mai. I love how that Mai turns into Future Mai, yeah. and then him and her and Chunks. I like uh, the little thing between Future Mai and old or uh, past Bulma. No, oh I, my I, gosh, you're so pretty. You're yeah. so young. Yeah, <laughs> you know, such complimentary. You know. Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, I also like a little detail about like because these are divergent things. There's no guarantee that you two end up together. You know, yeah. when he's talking to the little the little versions. You know, I'd be so pissed off. I mean, I would really use that if I was trying to get with her. Like we <laughs> belong to destiny. Yeah, yeah. You want the world to be destroyed again? Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, Goku has never kissed anyone. That's some shit. Goku has never. I mean, it's like they're almost Chi-Chi. like they're borrowing from Dragon Ball Bridge. In a way, yeah. I mean, he's an innocent, which is character weird character that thinks of nothing but fighting. Yeah, you know? it's what he is. He loves to eat. He loves to fight. He thinks of nothing else. <laughs> I mean, he has banged this woman and has never kissed her. I'm kind of respect him for it. You know, she just she just takes it. You know, no romance. You know, it's, that's why she's still with a man. I guess. Well, oh my gosh! One he doesn't have any romance to like live up to, so he would never. When I banged my girlfriend one time, I didn't kiss her, and it just made her. It made it. It made the romance jump up like tenfold. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. Goku's a player. He knows what he's doing. Is that what he's yeah. Saying? And she tried to kiss me. I pushed her down. I said no. I just love the idea. <laughs> That's he's what he's never doing. Done. I mean, he's never kissed his son. You know, like even just like a peck on the lips. Like, what the hell? What is that? You know. I, I thought I had this vague. Remember, of, I no. mean, of him kissing Gohan in the forehead or something. He's once, I remember him picking up Chi Chi. Yeah. But he's never kissed her. It's such a basic act of affection. I mean, it's not his thing. A lot of animals, they kiss, they lick, they do things like that. Not Goku. He's a different kind of animal. <laughs> he's a different kind of animal. Yeah. Goku is like, what are you serious? <laughs> You've never done that. I love, you kidding me? <laughs> I love whenever Bulma is like hard headed and, you know, Goku's like, what do you mean? She's like, give it up, Kakarot. There's no winning this one, you know. Yeah. This, this this titan of power and and he's a he godlike abilities. He has little divine, yeah, you know, power, and he gives up. He can't yeah. even. You can't even start with Bulma. I love it. I mean, yeah, this show has just given me so much more than I thought it could give me. Yeah. Being older, I'm like, well, you know, if it gives me more of the same, that's great. It's gonna have the same voice actors. That's great. But it's actually giving me interesting stories. It's building the world. I mean, it's really. Just the Dragon Ball. Well, we it's not it's not the one that I wanted. But it's the one yeah. I definitely need. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, having young Bulma go through time to Trunks's timeline is just yeah. You never really thought like, oh shit, that's a thing. Yeah, you could do that now. Yeah, and they did. Gosh darn it! See, I, I you know I want I, I want fucking I want them to defeat them. And I want real Goku to come back. You know, then real Goku and, and Trunks are in that reality from their timeline. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they can't bring... Yeah, I was going to say, well, is there anything they can do to bring back... There's nothing they can do to bring back the Dragon Balls besides go find the Super Dragon Balls, right? The, in, in Trunks' world? Yeah, if they're still there. Yeah. I'd do that and fucking wish for everyone back, man, and just have this happy, amazing life. Because I've always... Is that, does that happen? <laughs> what? Does that happen or something? Um, Don't spoil anything for me. So okay. never mind. Yeah. But, uh... Um... I mean, my big thing is, like, besides my, and I guess all the people, I feel like there's nothing for them to go back to. Like, stay in the past. You know what I mean? I mean, they, like, what, the he, potential for a new world is there, you know? Yeah, without everyone you love to build it with. So just leave all of those people that have struggled okay, for years to survive. Okay, once you, def- leave once you defeat them and yeah. world saved, go back and be with your family and your descendants. And- but there's the possibility of, like, that's not their time. They have a Trunks. They have a, a Mai. Well, they go, can't just go, replace them. Go somewhere else. Just don't. Well, why live, can't they live, just live off, live on the n- new world? Because everything is destroyed. Technology is probably been lost. No, they can get that stuff back. What you can't rebuild after something terrible like the happened? Dark, the, when the dark ages happened, you we just, lost so much stuff. You, you should know that. Yeah, and there's you know, thank God people helped and like like fixed it and like the, the enlightenment happened. There'd be people like you just running off to the ultimate reality where it never happened. We'd be <laughs> fucked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. All right. Um, I love that dog guy being like, maybe there'll be a reality where someone mentions me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. The fuck that dog yeah. is. Uh, I always uh, want to go back now and watch it from the very beginning. Yeah, like, what you. a legacy yeah. to go from Dragon Ball yep. to this. Now we're thirty years old, like, I know. and to still have it's like Star Wars. It's like it trans- it's transcending. It is like all these different age groups. It's just um, a lot. 
The last thing I have is that fucking Bulma MVP came out with that new jersey. That was, oh. It's like a Mighty Ducks and they got the new jersey. Besides jerseys. the handkerchief, uh, which, which is oddly enough, uh, when I was like 12 and I saw uh, Dragon Seven, Ball yeah. Trunks 17, I started wearing one for like sure. a while. Yeah. And I feel like an idiot now. Yeah. You should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I don't want Trunks wearing one. I want to have the beater on. I just, I know, but that feeling of like seeing that jacket is exactly I love that the jacket. feeling so... I had during D2 My Ducks. They were playing Team USA, and he's like, I think you need a new jersey. And they pull out, and it's fucking My Ducks, but it's in their colors now. That was great shit. That's what I felt like. And I would feel that more in D3 when fucking Coach Bombay, not Bombay, but when their shitty new coach for their prep school, when he brings them out. And Bombay pulls a rope and the banners down yeah, there, and he D3, looks man. up. Yeah. yeah, that's America. Right? They're playing for America, and they're playing the Ducks. <laughs> yeah, the Ducks for America, baby. I know. American Ducks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ducks flying. I don't have anything else. No, I, I just it. I'm looking forward to what is to come. Yeah, um, super excited. Lo- love this show. I, mean, I don't know how you could top the Trunk Saga. I mean, oh, they're gonna top it, baby. That's weird. <laughs> You're at episode sixty of one thirty-one, and the next saga, the next arc. Is like the rest of the We're show. We're not even halfway through Dragon Ball Super yet? We're not even halfway through Dragon Ball Super. And the next thing after Trunks is the rest of the show. Really? Yep. Is that long of an arc? Yep. It's one arc. Not, yep. Is, is, it like the Android, is it like the Android Cell arc where it's just one arc but it's really ten different arcs? Nope. Alright. What's after, what's after Dragon Ball Super though? If you want to find out what's next, make sure you guys are always subscribed to Blind Wave. We will never miss an, uh, an episode. You guys can check out the reaction of our page at uh, blindwave.net. And if you want to check out the full reaction, you can do that at Patreon. Go to Patreon. It's good. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.